All right, so today we are going over what Concord's downtown looks like versus Walnut Creek's downtown. If you want to move here and are thinking about relocating, this is gonna be an eye-opener and a game changer because even though they are so different, they're similar, and yet actually there's some things that you need to know before moving on over here. What's up guys, Rachel Capel here, realtor in the East Bay area in San Francisco Bay. If you wanna know all things about San Francisco Bay area, what it's like living, playing, and having fun here, this is the channel for you. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below. And if you are loving these videos, click the like button because even though you think it doesn't help, it does. So Concord versus Wana Creek's downtown, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna walk through and kind of tell you a little bit about this mall. I actually really like this mall a lot. It's just kind of, off a little bit from the normal downtown area, um, the old downtown, which I'll show you up next in Concord. It's This is a brand new mall. There's got a ton of shops and clothing, uh, Xfinity you saw, super duper. This is a really hot um, drive through for hamburgers. People love coming to this um, mall for restaurants. You can see here the Yard House is a really popular restaurant, really good food. It's kind of like the Cheesecake Factory. The one downfall to this mall is that there's, during kind of peak hours on the weekends and Fridays and whatnot, a lot of people come here to shop and eat, so parking can be a pain in the butt. I found that if you just keep circling, you'll eventually get someone leaving, but what is so great is there's so many cool places and um, to eat, and there's a crumble cookie here, which is awesome. I love going to crumbles and getting them for like gifts and whatnot. So you'll see Texas to Brazil, it's a great steakhouse, Barnes and Nobles, Banana Republic. This mall is packed when it comes to um, holiday shopping. Um, you'll see it's, it's similar, very similar to downtown Wanna Creek, but what I like about this place is, as you can see in the next clip coming up, um, right around this corner is a little park and we're putting in our little books, or we're donating books there because um, it was kind of lacking the little library, but there's a super cute playground that kids um, pretty much, I'd say 12 and under can go and play. We actually really love the ramen place, as you can see. So I took him to get ramen, Mason, because he was sick. Um, and then I let him play um, on that little leaf park playground. And they're setting up for Christmas here. So um, you can see the ice skating rink is coming up. Um, and there's a big movie theater here, which is amazing. It's got the lounge chairs and food and all that. This fountain is super fun for kids to kind of just sit and play they love it my son really loves going out here and you can see all the outdoor dining it's a really awesome mall there's lots to do here lots of restaurants and shopping outdoor seating uh, fire pits like it's really nice this this veranda and you're not going to see homeless here really you're not going to see a lot of riffraff so you'll be safe and secure there's a mexican place right there that i actually really like it's a little pricey but it's really good for a happy hour and drinks right next to the theater and again the ice skating rink is coming up Wanna creek has an ice skating rink as well which i'll talk about but they're setting up for christmas when i went so lots of things to do here old navy sephora tj maxx cost world plus and there's lots of fun photo opportunities. So I actually love the veranda um, and Mason does too. Okay, now on to downtown Concord, old downtown. Toto Santos Park is where I'm gonna be taking you. So this is the actual park. Now the difference here is this is gonna be a little bit older than the veranda, which is a more upcoming and new, closer to the freeway. This is gonna be a little bit deeper into Concord. And honestly, with this park, it's nice. There's a playground. It's not as nice as the veranda because it's older and you're gonna see more homeless here. So it's just a fact. Um, if you don't want to have to deal with that, um, I would definitely think that veranda would be a better option for you, but it just depends on what you want. There are some really cool restaurants over here. I'll talk about them. Um, you can have picnics and hang out, barbecues, whatever, in this little like Toto Santo Square. Um, and on the outskirts of it, of this square, is um, there's like restaurants and lots of places that you can go get breakfast, happy hour, um, older restaurants, but all they're still great, really good ones. EJ Fair is a big one um, right here on the corner. And um, there's an, a fantastic Indian um, restaurant and uh, an Italian place. So plenty of places to you know eat and dine and not a ton of shopping like the veranda here, but you can see a lot of people out and about 
you know this is old town conquer they do have some events here um it's it's you know it's just depends on what your vibe is what you want you are going to see more homeless here more kind of like you can see the little park right there it's still different than the leaf one it's older um it's got a charm to it so it just it depends on what you prefer i actually don't mind this place like i said i love the indian restaurant down around the corner if you keep going straight along this side there's a bunch of little like kind of boutique shops and restaurants so um pretty decent parking here you're not gonna have to worry about you know dealing with what you would at veranda um but you know it's just a di little bit of a different vibe so both are great uh just depends on what you want and as we approach a stoplight here past this light i'll show you one more last little peek of the park um like i said a lot of people just come out here and have a picnic there's bank of america starbucks is right here and i have not yet been to this restaurant but I've heard amazing, amazing things about this Italian restaurant, Luna. So I think it is something to check out and would be a great date night. All right, now on to downtown Walnut Creek. This is coming in from uh, North California, South California Boulevard, heading down into the heart of downtown Walnut Creek. You'll see a bunch of restaurants here, Kacha Thai. I love Kacha Thai. There's lots of parking in downtown Walnut Creek. This is kind of the main area here where Neiman Marcus is. It's actually not there anymore, but that's the actual old store. So North and South Main. I usually park over in the middle over here by the Apple store on South Main. Um, there's a big garage there that you could just easily walk over, which I'll kind of take you on my journey there. But there's a ton of cool shops down here. You've got Lululemon, Tesla, Apple, Crate and Barrel, Anthropology. Um, and then if you go right, right there at the light, you'll head to the restaurants. There's Cheesecake Factory down there. Um, uh, Gott's Roadside is right up here, coming up on the right hand side. It's a hamburger place, which is really good. This is the parking garage I, I'm talking about. Um, it's actually really handy because it gets really packed during Christmas, not gonna lie. That's one of the downfalls of Wana Creek. A lot of people like to come down here and eat and drink hot cocoa, whatever they do, walk around and chop. Um, it's super popular. So they just installed these new little lights that show you um, if there are cars parked, if there's a red light, there's a car there, if there's a green light, there's a spot open, which is kind of handy. Um, come. You know holiday season time because as you can see there's lots of people out today when I was out I actually had to go up to like the third level but you can kind of see the little lights make it handy so you can either drive on by or say oh there's a spot right there um, I wanted to park up by the uh, elevator because I'm lazy <laughs> and actually it's where I wanted to go because I was dropping off something over at Apple or picking something up but Crate and Barrel's right there you can take the elevator or you could do stairs whatever you prefer and then you just walk on down to the main area here um, you'll see Apple is right there it's the main kind of flagship store um, and then you could walk easily to the Cheesecake Factory behind the video um, right here is just go straight down there there's anthropology and you can go straight down and walk to cheesecake factory and there's a bunch of restaurants over there or you can head into the mall which is what we did because i wanted to take you on a tour of all the cool shops a lot of similar shops as the ones um in the veranda and concord sephora plus some more boutique style um stores here um i really like both uh the veranda and wanna creek downtown i feel like the positives of Warner Creek is you really don't see hardly any homeless here but you won't see many homeless in um, the veranda either but Warner Creek does not have like a little park play area this is the only area that kids can kind of really run around and play which my son obviously does every time it's like a nice little area just to sit and kind of relax let the kids look at the fountain uh, but this is the other section of the mall, uh, which I love. Lululemon there is Nespresso is right next to it and Tesla. Nordstrom's is on the left. So you just kind of will cross over and show you exactly what, um, you know, shops there are. There are more boutique shops here, lots more clothing stores, some um, uh, furniture stores for outdoor, indoor. So you're going to get more of selection here than in the veranda because there's just, it's a whole section. It's a, it's a lot bigger, um, downtown than veranda is. That's why people love coming here. Parking is really not too bad of an issue. There's multiple garages, so you'll be fine. There's Madewell. I love that store. And, um, Tesla's right next to it as well. 
Amazon Books is there, Zara, um, Macy's is up around the corner, um, Travis Matthew, Great Guy Store, um, Athlet is here. So you have a lot of opportunities to shop here and just walk around and obviously you can see how beautiful it is. It's like great pavers, like lush landscaping. You've got all kinds of stuff. There's Zara there on the right hand side and Macy's is straight ahead. The little park here, you know, they have, it's honestly, it's kind of like a, it's not as fun as the Leaf Park um, for Mason. I mean, look at there's like a dinosaur and then the other one you can't really play on. I think it's more of an art thing. Um, but again, if you go, once we go forward into this main section, there's True Foods right here so you can sit down and eat. Starbucks, um, Macy's is right here to the right hand side. And what's really cool is they have this little section it's like a TV, a big gigantic screen right there that shows ads and sometimes they'll have music here and there's a piano. So there's a lot of opportunity for fun and kind of hanging out and spending a day here at the mall. There's Wetzel's Pretzels, which is great. Old Navy's here, H&M, Nordstrom, Pink. There's so many different shops here that you'll definitely have like way more fun shopping if you're, you know, wanting to get, you know, do some damage on the credit card versus the veranda. Um, and Toto Santos, um, I'll show you a little, there's a little park after this that I'll show you that Wanna Creek has just around the corner, which is all walking distance, which is another reason why I really love Wanna Creek. Um, I probably would have to say if I had to pick for me, I would probably pick Wanna Creek just because there's just so many options versus just, um, a there's less at the veranda and Toto Santos. Um, I could spend a, a day shopping around and then I could walk to the park um, here with my son and I could have dinner. So we could spend like literally a whole day here whereas you couldn't really do that in Concord. So I think that's another reason why people really love it here. Plus like the kids I said, they, they run around this little fountain and they just obsess and love it. Oh, Free People is over there too if you're a Free People fan. And there's also Janie and Jack, I believe. Yep, right there for the kids. So, um, yeah, it's just awesome. And then you just head down the street here. You could walk this. You don't have to. I drove because, you know, I had things to do. But you could walk this. And it's all restaurants, pretty much. Some boutique stores um, and just great places for coffee, for dining. This is like why people love downtown Wanna Creek. It's really, really clean. You're not gonna see a lot of homeless. I mean, you will here or there. It's just a fact of California. You know, we just, everyone, it is what it is. You can't escape escape it, but um, I, I would say there's crime here too. There's a police station right there. That's one positive thing. There's a police station in downtown Wanna Creek. But as you head off this, the park that I'll show you next is over to the right. But I wanted to go down this road because uh, I wanted to show you there like uh, places you can live here, apartments, uh, businesses, uh, car dealerships, but also Target is gonna be here coming up on the left-hand side. And then you just head, keep going straight and you'll hit the freeway, so. It's another little added bonus target right there. And there's down um, underground parking, which is also really nice here because the lot can get filled up. All right, now onto the park over around the corner from the downtown mall in Wanna Creek. As you can see right there is where the ice skating rink is gonna go um, once they put that up for the holidays. <clears throat> it's a huge, huge, huge deal in Wanna Creek. They love it, kids love that. This is the park that I um, like taking my son to. He loves playing around here, um, you know, on days where we just wanna get out. Super close and cute downtown, uh, near downtown area, Wanna Creek. Um, this is really safe park. There's a police station right across the way, so you will not see too many homeless here, if at all. Um, lots of kiddos out of all different ages here, and it's just a really pretty setting. Lots of trees. It's like you can have a park, a picnic park there. Picnic park. A picnic there. <laughs> I think there was a person having a birthday party here, so there's lots of opportunities to have fun. You don't have to worry about someone to bother you or, you know, getting in your face. Like sometimes you might have to worry about at Toto Santos. So something to take note of when you're out and about. Um, and just another reason, again, why people love Wanna Creek. This is within walking distance to um, the downtown, which you don't have that opportunity unless in, you're in Toto Santos Park, but there's just not as many opportunities to shop if you wanted to go like Christmas shopping. So as you can see, lots of people having picnics. And again, that's where the ice skating rink's gonna go once the holidays come around. 
Um, usually I think they open it up late November, maybe after Thanksgiving in the Christmas month. So um, cute little gazebo, people hanging out, having picnics, talking, doing whatever. We're actually walking down this path because we had a book to return at the library here. So you can see there's just lots of opportunities. Very cool mule right there on the left-hand side. And it's just super pretty to come and hang out and enjoy. Um, we literally walk down here, drop the book off, and then um, you can see that cool statue. I love that. That's new. They change out the little structures here every so often, and now this is a new one. Um, looks like a hand. Um, but this is the downtown Wanna Creek Library, and literally across the way is all the restaurants. You can easily walk to them. Um, from here, we did. We actually dropped the book off played on this little piano that you're gonna see in the next clip after we dropped our book off and we got a boba and some dinner. So Wanna Creek has these cool little playgrounds like that have pianos so you can bang around on them and practice playing and Mason was having a blast doing it. And then we took him over about, I'd say about 15 yards, just kind of cross the street and headed over to where all the restaurants were, got a boba at one of our favorite places, Mr. Green Bubble. And then I got poke for me for dinner, and we got him pizza at Mellow's. So we love downtown Wanna Creek. What Concord versus Wanna Creek looks like in the downtown areas. And if you like this video, definitely smash that like button and let me know what you think. I mean, I don't know. I think they're both pretty comfortable, but there's some things that definitely can be a deal breaker if you're moving on over here. So when you want to relocate and move here to either Concord or Wanna Creek, let me know and our team can help you in that process and we can give you all the insights into what you need to know. Look forward to seeing you in the next video guys. Bye!